you'll see all you really need to do is wait a few seconds and then basically float the ball in the air and you're gonna see how this route just gets past just about any cornerback in the game. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Man Cheese, as always. Got a different type of video for you guys today. Typically, I focus on pass plays, one play touchdowns, stuff like that. But today, I'm going to be focusing on specific routes. Rare routes that are probably pretty hard to find in most playbooks. But these are going to be the type of routes that, if you run them against the right defenses, are absolutely unstoppable. And some of them are covered by absolutely no defense at all. So, as always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's go get right into the video. Now, this first formation is found in the Baltimore Ravens playbook and probably any any playbook that has the gun normal Y off close. It's a new formation to Madden 22. The play is escape and the route is really what the running back's doing. It looks like a China route. We'll go ahead and we'll pick that. On the defensive side, we're just gonna go random nickel. Now this route can really get open at two different points throughout the play. It can be treated like a simple comeback route, but if you throw it in the break, you can see the crazy amount of separation you get in a man coverage like that. But ultimately this route gets open at pretty much any point in time during the play. I mean, you can throw it in the coverage like that where it's essentially a comeback route or a short check down, or more importantly, it's best to wait until it gets outside. The biggest issue is probably that it takes a little bit of time, but you can see this route, especially against man coverage, is it's just something that doesn't, that no linebacker or no safety name is gonna cover. Next up from the Bills playbook, I'm in the gun trips halfback week. Now this is a formation that I put out last year uh, from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It was really one of the best uh, formations in the game when it came to beating man coverage, but it's not in that playbook anymore. I did find it in the Buffalo Bills. I'm sure it's in a couple others. I'll try to leave that information in the description if you guys want to check that out. But ultimately the route that I'm talking about is the route that's being run by the single wide receiver in the close X fade. This route is very unique when it comes to man coverage. So essentially any defense where your opponent doesn't have a safety over the top outside, like a cover one hold, cover one blitz. Uh, any type of defense, if they're in a cover two, where they essentially put their safeties in either yellow zones or what people typically do, which is uh, curl flats at about 25 to 30 yards. Defenses like that or defenses like this, where essentially just all out man blitzes will have that same effect. This route here is essentially just a go route, just like the route, the B route on the other side. It's pretty much the exact same thing. The only thing is, based off the fact that this route is designed the way that it is, no matter what man coverage is going against, the cornerback will not get hands on it. He will not chuck it. It will not slow it down. They will not have any way of redirecting the route. And ultimately, this route will get going against any man coverage as long as there's not a safety over the top. You'll see all you really need to do is wait a few seconds and then basically float the ball in the air. And you're going to see how this route just gets past just about any cornerback in the game, which being one of the best cornerbacks in the game right now. So whether it's cover one like the defense we were looking at in the last play or cover zero like we have here, you're going to see how this X route basically just runs right around the cornerback every single time. You just have to basically lob it up and you have a very easy one play touchdown against any man coverage defense as long as there's not safety over the top. Next up out of the Green Bay Packers, we have another play that's really good against a lot of different types of man coverages and that's out of the single back bunch. The play itself is called the Z option and the route we're going to be looking at is going to be the stop and go route that's very unique in this particular formation on the left side here. This game is filled with uh, stop and go routes, sluggo routes, routes that are like what Devontae Adams are running here. Uh, they're essentially made to beat any man coverage once again, as long as there's not a safety over the top, but they're pretty hit or miss. They're pretty much 50-50. Uh, you really have to watch the route and make sure that the, that the receiver actually gets the cornerback to bite before you throw the ball, as you can see right here. Doesn't really work even though I'm going against a man coverage and it really should work against this defense. With that being said though, the stop and go route that he's running on this particular play, the Z option, is very different and much more consistent all you really have to do is put that route on a smart route to shorten it and it becomes even better as you'll see right here he essentially just stops and the, runs right past the, the cornerback because he doesn't even move until i'm about 10 yards past him if we watch the replay, you'll see that Devontae Adams, I mean, I know he's one of the best route runners in the game, but essentially he runs this route so well that the cornerback doesn't even move until he runs right past him. In fact, at 15 yards down the field, he's already five yards of separation. So you can imagine what this play would look like if you have a speed receiver like a Tyree Kill or somebody that has a much faster uh, receiving skill. So ultimately, you can see at 15 yards down the field, I'm already capable of throwing the ball. It's best to probably lob it up. Bullet passing uh, is still something that would be somewhat of an issue, but if you lob it 
up like you do any man coverage beater. You should have a one-play touchdown against any man coverage in the game as long as there's not a cornerback over the top. Now, the next route is something that can be found in the New Orleans Saints and Houston Texans playbook. It's in a formation called the Empty Y Saint or the Empty Y Texan, I think it's probably called in the Texans. Ultimately, if you're in custom playbooks, the formation is called the Eagle Age Slot. But the gun Empty Y Saint has a couple of different plays that has the route I'm going to show you guys next. Whether it's the Saints under or the Saints goes whip. Uh, well, like I said, if it's in the Texans, it's probably the Texans under or the Texans goes whip. But ultimately, it's going to be the exact same route. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick either one of them. On the defensive side, this actually has a lot of success against multiple defenses, including cover two. So we're gonna go, we're gonna show that. This is another route that's gonna have a lot of success against man coverages, but it's also very unique when it comes to cover two, like we have here. You typically wanna run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field, but the B route, based off of the angle that it takes, uh, typically doesn't get pressed. And if you have a slight speed advantage, this receiver can get gone against a lot of different defenses. So let's go ahead and let's just watch this route here. As you can see, he just runs right around the cornerback. This is not a great receiver or a great speed advantage. I think Harris is only about a nine through speed but you can see that the cornerback basically just lets him run right around if you watch the receiver on the other side a lot of time he gets zone chucked and jammed can't do that on this side because of the way the route is designed you can see we can get very easy one play touchdowns against cover two especially this play does rely heavily on the fact that defenses are designed to either zone chuck like in cover two zone which we just did or press like in man cover two which is what we're in now even though there typically is a safety over the top it won't matter because of the route design that we have here this receiver will get outside of the cornerback and be gone past the safety before the safety even knows what happens so if you watch the b route will basically uh, they'll try to jam it they'll try to press it from at the line it won't work and the receiver will essentially be gone within a couple of feet of the play starting all you really have to do after that point is get a nice pass lead outside a nice uh, lob or bullet pass and essentially you'll have a big player one play touchdown every single time against man or zone now this last route is probably the most common out of all of them but it's definitely one of the best and it's something that you should try to utilize as much as possible in this game the formation is the gun tight i'm in the san francisco 49ers but any formation with a gun tight or gun tight offset t like the saints has i think the raiders has a gun tight the bills have a pretty good gun tight there's gun tights found in a lot of different playbooks so any gun tight should have have this play i think the buccaneers are one of those teams as well the route is going to be what the slot receiver is running on the left and what's the drive corner here now what makes this route so glitchy it's very similar to a corner route that you may find in like a bench post but you can see there's a dramatic difference in what this route does it intacts an entirely different portion of the field than what the actual bench does and against defenses like this cover two cover two man man coverage cover four it won't have the same effect i'll go ahead and i'll run this play i'm going to basically set this up uh, where essentially I'm going to do the exact same thing in this play and I'm going to do the exact same thing in the other play. I'm going to put this X route here on a streak and you're going to see how this Y route really doesn't get open the same way that it will on the next play. As you can see, it's pretty much covered. Even with one of the best receivers in the game, there's no real separation there. But if I do that exact same adjustment or maybe no adjustment at all on this next play, you'll see how the Y route just takes a much better angle and goes to a much better portion of the field for a much bigger play against the exact same defense. In fact, on this particular play, you can pretty much do the exact same adjustment, put this X route on a streak and this Y route will have have a big play against just about every single defense in the game other than cover three as you can see now it's going to work even better because it's pulling back the safety but you don't have to make adjustments and this route will still have success this route is just as good against zone as it is against man as you'll see here we're going to cover two zone in the first play this is going to be a cover two man we're going to have the exact same success with the exact same setup you're going to see how this y route here just gets outside and over the top of the safety pretty much every time if i was running from a hash mark i'd probably be scoring one play touchdowns this route will have the exact same success against pretty much any man coverage in the game but it's especially deadly against cover four zones which essentially acts a lot like a man coverage but you'll see how this y right here really doesn't get covered at all as we have another very big play like i said if i move the ball over to the hash mark had a little more space on the field i'd easily have a one play touchdown against every single one of these defenses but i'm not going to go over that i'm just trying to show you guys a really good route so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this as always hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below